The Drifter never wants to read. The only books that he's read was back in high school in his English class when he read those old boring books. And he now he thinks that all books are like that. Why would he want to read? It's boring. It doesn't, it's not really fun to him. But he doesn't even need to read because he gets all his information from YouTube. The player. The player understands that the player's favorite part of his day is reading, is when he learns, when he has a thirst for the unknown. When he looks at his book collection, he can't help but to wonder, oh, like what's inside them? Like, is there more that I haven't figured out yet? Is there stuff that I missed? He has an explorer's mindset. He He's born in this unknown world. He knows that he doesn't know much. He doesn't really know anything. And so with that mindset, he goes about life as a student, constantly trying to uncover the truth and trying to know more. He understands that reading actually isn't that difficult. It's just the way that you look at it. When I first started self-improvement, like when I was in that phase in the beginning where, you know what I mean? Like I wanted to read some books because people were recommending them on TikTok or whatever. It was like the laws of human nature. It was a 48 laws of power. It was like atomic habits, those basic books that people recommend. And so at the time, I was still like smoking weed. I was still being a little bit of a degenerate. I was still playing video games. So I wasn't really totally integrated into self-improvement, but I, I wanted to. I kept drifting through life, but I knew where I wanted to go. And so I bought these books, expecting to read them, expecting to change my life just from reading a book. But that wasn't the case. What I did was I bought the books and then they would stay in like, I took a picture of them first of all. I took a picture. What I used to do is I used to buy the books, take a picture of them, and then not read the book. It was like, it was all just mental masturbation. It was all just for me to, you know, look at myself as someone who's getting getting better in a sense. But those books would collect dust on my desk like all like for weeks and months. I'd even pick them up. Like I would try to read the introduction. Like I would look at the table of contents, like where like all the chapters are. I'd be like, I'd be kind of excited. I'd be like, oh, like I'm gonna learn this, I'm gonna learn that. And I can't even get through the introduction. And I was just like, ah, like, and then all of a sudden I'm distracted, I'm going, I'm going out with my friends now, I'm playing Fortnite, like, it was just some bullshit. Reading is an everyday thing for me now, and I really do enjoy reading. And it, I think it really is just a mindset. This isn't really some practical advice I would give you to go out and read, but it's really just a mindset shift. It's a way that you perceive books. Because we used to think like in high school or, or when we used to read books in school, they were so boring. Like they'd make us try to like paraphrase, they'd make us try to like, understand the passage and you're just sitting there like I don't even give a damn like you're half asleep in English class that was literally me the whole time like I would I would have my book out and put my phone like in like when we'd be reading in class I'd have my phone in the book like and I'd be in the back of the class just like acting like I'm listening to the teacher and kind of sucks that school gives us just like such boring books but now that I think about it the books are probably not even boring we just like we just didn't have a good perception on it because we were just like forced to, they're like, oh yeah, we're reading this. But, like we're just like 14, 15 year old kids. Like we don't really care about how to kill a mockingbird. We don't really care about that stuff. Like we're still like kids. Like we still like, we, we were reading like comics and we were reading like all types of like kids stuff when, like not too long ago at that age. So when we go from that to like all of a sudden reading some like, some really like political, some like ethical, educational book, like we, we don't even know how to react. So nowadays I buy books and I'm genuinely interested. A couple months ago though, like I still even have a little bit of this habit. It's a bad habit of mine. What I would do is I, I'd buy a book and then I got rid of the habit of taking pictures and putting it on my desk to look like dust. But nowadays when I buy a book, once I get like a quarter way into it, I buy three more books. It's insane. Like I'd be reading a book, thinking about the next book that I'm going to read. And not even like, I'd be reading the book when my mind's in another book. I'd have like such like an ADHD brain trying to, my mind is in like all these other things that I want to do, but I'm not focused on the task in front of me, I'm not focused on the book that's in front of me. So you ever have those like moments like where you're reading a book obviously and you just start thinking about other shit and you need to like reread the book now? That was me for the longest time, but but now I can focus on a single passage, a single book and not really worry about other things. It's about like living in the present moment. Some practical advice that you can do is just meditate every single day to kind of get rid of that ADHD brain of just that wandering mind, the drifter's mind to just go into other books while you're reading this book. So the whole perception I'm gonna give you is to look at books, look at the world in general as a place for you to explore an adventure. I had to face the fact that I don't really know anything. I don't really know everything. I might know a little bit, but I might not, I don't know the whole picture at all. And that's kind of beautiful because usually we're, we're scared of the unknown. We're scared of not knowing. And we think we know because we're on social media, we know what's happening. We know the latest trends. If we want to learn something, we just look it up on our phone. Like we think we know everything, but we're actually just like dumb as rocks. 
And I'm not saying you're dumb as rocks. I'm just saying like that we like we think we're educated, but like we're really just not. And I had to really face that fact and turn from a from like a a mindset of like, oh yeah, like I know, I know, I know, I know. When someone would tell me something, I'd be like, oh yeah, I know, I know. Because like, it's like arrogance. No, it's like not arrogance. It's like ignorance. Like you just you think you know something. You will like you want people to look at you like you know, like you know everything. But you really don't. You really have just have no idea. Learning is actually like such a favorite part of my day. Like I absolutely love learning so much. And it took me a while to get into this mindset. Like whenever we were little kids, we wanted to learn new things. Like I, I, I got that mind back, guys. I got that mind back, and you can too. So don't be so worried about what's on social media. Stop, stop worried about what's going on in politics and all this bullshit. Just what do you want to know? I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, read this book. Read this book. No, read what you want to read whether that be fiction or nonfiction. We have to let our curiosity run wild because curiosity is, it's a driver. It drives us forward in life. Because usually like you would see some books people recommend on social media and you would just read them just because they recommended it. But like, you weren't really curious in it. You didn't really care. You weren't interested in it, about it in the first place. You just said it because someone else told you to do it and they seem, they seem successful or whatever. So when you go to read the book, it's not as like, you're not really curious, you're just reading it just to find an answer. But really look at books as a way for you to understand the world, as a way for you to to uncover the unknown, uncover the truth of what this world really holds. And so I kind of apply this mindset. If you ever watch like anime, you notice this this is a genre of called isekai where someone gets reincarnated into another world. And I really draw myself towards those. I'm really interested in those kind of genres because it really is so interesting to follow someone through a whole new different world into the unknown just the process of just learning things from like level one and they go up to like level 100 i saw that and i played that same mindset with this world i sat down with myself and i realized like damn like i don't really know much like but i want to know like i want to know how it works i want to know how this world works i want to know how people work like i want to know about foods i want to know about all these things and you let your curiosity run wild and i think it's such a beautiful thing like I'd go down like like rabbit holes like my favorite going down the rabbit hole of like religion or going down the rabbit hole of how money works going down the rabbit hole of how the body works nutrition etc going down these rabbit holes is a really really fun thing and I really want you to experience this curiosity of being excited to learn be excited like for example when you see people like Elon Musk like these people have like autobiographies like people like Winston Churchill people like people, there's like there's like documentaries and books on like uh, like Alexander the Great and these like people that conquered the world and stuff like that. But we don't we like ah nah like that's stupid because we think of like history as like boring. But history is not boring because because history really does repeat itself. And what you can do is learn from these people. Like if dude like you can literally like learn from how Alexander the Great conquered pretty much most of the world. You can understand how Winston Churchill. Was such a iconic figure you can literally learn about these people who were such high figures in life but you choose not to but you choose to you mean look at the latest trend or you choose to to play fortnite play that next match you're curious about what's in the item shop for fortnite you're curious about these only fan models on fucking instagram you're curious about just stuff that really does not benefit you let's really go about life as explorers as people who don't really know like you're born into this world you're born into this unknown world why don't you try to learn about the world okay who created the world why is this world here like have you ever asked yourself why like asking yourself why is the best thing that you could do because it dry it's the curiosity it's like why 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 am i born in this world how does the world work how do people work how did humans get up to this point in history how did we get up to this point because what happened a hundred years ago what happened a thousand years ago so you get to you get to learn all these things and it really sucks to me when people like they don't really want to know anything they don't want to learn they're just like they're so caught up in like dopamine activities that they're not curious about anything like you can learn so much like you don't really realize it but some people are just like oh no like, i can't read i'm like dyslexic i can't read like i have 80 like it's just I, th I think it's just an excuse honestly to say like oh no like i just don't like really like books i don't really like I can't really read them because I've been there too when I was just like, nah, I don't like really need to read. Like reading is boring. It's just, I don't really find it interesting. And that's perfectly fine. You could say this is just my preference. But if you're the type of person who wants to want to read, you want to want to read. Like you want to read, but you don't feel like it. But you want to want to read. You want to 
actually like be excited to read you want to be curious you want to learn new things if you want to be that type of person apply the the explorer's mindset the player's mindset towards reading books and learning new things like every time i open a book now i'm like i just get like i get like so happy and like excited because it's like what's next right now the current book i'm reading is called uh, principles by ray dalio and ray dalio is like a, an investor he made bridgewater associates and it's so interesting like to learn about a man and his life lessons about someone who like created a whole a whole company we can learn about so many successful people what we choose not to like there's a like i said there's a book about elon musk go learn like what he thinks uh, the richest man in the world that you can literally see how he grew up you can see how he operates he can you can see how he made tesla but you choose not to so use that curious mind let your mind like wonder what I suggest you do is get rid of stimulation, first of all, is to get rid of watching YouTube. Like instead of trying to find your answer on YouTube, open up a book, crack open a book and just sit in silence and read. Maybe stop scrolling so much. Maybe stop, maybe get out of nature. Let your mind settle. Let your mind actually think for itself instead of getting all this input, all this like, all this like trashy input from other things like a TV show or scrolling on your phone or these trends or just stuff that's like brain rot like get get rid of brain rot and get rid of stuff that nourishes the brain nourishes the mind so you can actually be excited to live this life so apply the same mindset i didn't really give you some practical advice what you can do like like i said in the beginning is meditate you can meditate and just try to get rid of stimulation get rid of your phone get rid of youtube like go outside maybe read a book go out in nature let your mind settle that's some practical advice i can give you but apply the explorer's mindset act like you were born in this this new world and there's so much to learn and there's so much there's so much out there for humans to thrive but we don't even know but you can figure that out for people but everyone everyone's interested in different things though like don't get me wrong like i'm interested in different things and you're you're interested in probably different things as well but we can kind of relate to the fact that we both want to read but we both kind of want to want to learn and so with that too i have a free discord that you can join in the link in the description we have a a channel in there called the guild library or the library we put a lot of books in there for that you can read that you can look into and it's completely free you can you can join and become a guild member and I'd be happy to have you. And with that, continue your journey and keep moving forward.